Yo, what's going on, True Fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and we got another OBS video for you guys. And this one's from the dual PC streaming guys. So listen up. Let's jump into it. All right, guys. So today we're going to be going over how I route my audio via my dual streaming PC setup. And this is going to be kind of a super simple thing. You will need a couple items here, though. So the first item you're going to need is a Sound Blaster XG6. If you need one of these or have an amplifier like it, I will leave a link in the description below of that particular thing. And um, you will need kind of the cables and things of that sort. So a USB cable, a toss link cable, and of course two PCs. All right guys, so we're back on OBS here because I wanted to show you just kind of a visual representation of how I route my audio from my gaming PC into my streaming PC. So we're gonna have two different areas that we look at here and let's go ahead and start it off. So down here in your Windows settings is gonna be the first thing that you wanna look at. I'm actually gonna open up my sounds and it's gonna bring up this little thing here. So for playback, I actually have my Realtek audio output set as my default and this is the digital audio so i route my audio from a optical uh, toss link cable from my motherboard audio into my sound blaster xg6 and because it has an input on the back of it so the real tech is what i use on the actual gaming pc all of my listening comes from the sound blaster xg6 because that's what handles all of the audio coming from both pcs it's just capturing the audio from the gaming pc and spitting it back out to the streaming PC. Optical audio, Sound Blaster G XG6. Make sure it's the Realtek high definition audio default input for optical or whatever you're using. If you're using line input, it will say speakers. It will be the speakers here, but I'm using optical. I'm also not using the in output or input from the Elgato because the Elgato is actually in my streaming PC. This is just being seen as a monitor. So don't confuse that with my Elgato that I may have in my actual PC. Make sure you're using Realtek or the Realtek speakers if you're using line or optical. Now we are over to the streaming PC. This isn't my streaming PC. As you can see, speakers are Sound Blaster XG6. I'm gonna open up the sounds and show you guys what I have routing through here. So this little guy pops up yet again. We're gonna go to playback. And as you can see, Sound Blaster XG6 is my sound device. That's what we're using to route all of the audio. This is actually being used as my speakers because I plug my headphones into this. You can also use my interface, but I'm not using my interface because it doesn't actually have an optical port. So we're using my little amplifier. So make sure if you have one of these amplifiers or an amplifier of that this sort, set your amplifier as the default device on your streaming PC, and then you hit Okay, now in OBS, there's going to be a couple settings that we have to mess with. And as you guys know, in previous videos, I don't do anything in the audio tab. I have everything disabled because I do all of my audio routing per scene. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this little plus sign down here on our scene sources and this scene that we're on. And we're going to do an audio input capture. And I already have existing, but we're gonna do a different one. I'm going to set it as, all right, I'm gonna set this as G6 plus just for the sake of the video. So we're going to go here, create new. Now it's gonna bring up the device option. If you're using an amplifier, you want to set that as SPDIF in. And what this is, is since I'm routing my optical audio into the back of the Sound Blaster XG6, that's my optical audio. SPDIF is just another fancy term for optical audio. Make sure that's set and hit okay. All right, so what that's gonna do is that's actually going to route in the audio from my gaming PC to route the audio from my desktop audio on the streaming PC, because this is where I play my Spotify and all of that fun stuff. Or if I have something else going on that I wanna show the stream, I need to know my audio is coming from my streaming PC as well. We're gonna do audio output capture. And what we're gonna do here is I actually named this desktop audio. Desktop audio two. I'm just gonna name it two because we have another desktop audio down here. And of course it's gonna be device default. Now you can leave this as default if you want to because you already set your default setting down here. But I like to go ahead and set it as my source anyways, just to make sure if Windows ever updates, it doesn't screw up all my audio settings. So we set it as our speakers, which is our Sound Blaster X 
G6. Don't get confused because sometimes your interface will say speakers as well. Make sure it's saying whichever audio source you're using, which is the Sound Blaster XG6. Boom, hit that, okay, boom. Now you have your incoming audio and your desktop audio chilling right here. I'm actually gonna rename this to Gaming PC, so for the sake of simplicity. Gaming PC audio. Boom, baby, bibbidi bop. All right, so if I play a sound over here on my gaming PC, on this side, it will actually play the audio. So we're playing True Gaming Stream right now. See, the Boom, camera actually can't get any lower The audio is right there. See, simple as that. So there you have it, guys. That is how I route my PC audio. I use an external amplifier to route all of the audio for me. You can do this very same thing with a mixer or an interface if you have one that has the right types of ports. You can also do those with voice meter. I'm not a fan of doing it via a software. I like using hardware because it's a lot easier to route. The audio going from your gaming PC to your streaming PC or vice versa, depending on how you guys have everything set up, is key in setting up good audio. I try to keep it as simple as possible so there's not a ton of cords and a ton of overthinking this. I do optical audio from the gaming PC into the Sound Blaster, from the Sound Blaster back into the streaming PC. Yes, the amplifier is a little expensive. It's right around 150 bucks. It can go on sale for right around 99, but it's a great piece of gear. If you're running a dual streaming PC setup, you do want to invest in good gear and routing your audio and making sure everything sounds as best as possible. This may not be the best way to do it, but it's simple enough for me and it's something I had laying around. Like I said, if you have a mixer, you can do it via your mixer. If you have an interface, you can do it via your interface. It's however you guys want to do it. This is the easiest for me and it made the most sense with what I have to work with. So if this helped you guys, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to hit subscribe before you guys leave today. If you want to follow myself or True Gaming on any of our social medias, be sure to do so. All of those links are in the description below and I'd love to have you guys come hang out with me on stream sometime. Let's talk tech. I'll show you my setup and let's just hang out together. But guys, that about does it for the video. I will see you in the next one. We got plenty more helpful content coming to the channel. So hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. My shadow out.